Hi, I'm Sherry, and this is Ruby, and um, Ruby um, is unable to speak right now, but she just wanted to give an update on what's going on with her. Um, not a lot of good is going on with her right now. Um, she started, um, how long ago with the headaches? So six months ago, she started having these headaches that start at 10 p.m. every night. And they're really vicious headaches. And it lasts about an hour and a half. Is that right? So it lasts from about 10 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. And then it just kind of goes away. But it's really, really tough on her. So um, I looked up some information on it, and I found out that they were called... Ooh, yeah, she still has this twitch. It's not good. Anyway, I found out the headaches were called cluster headaches. And so we went to her doctor and uh, we asked for oxygen, which is supposed to um, be about the best thing for a cluster headache. So, um, and I figured oxygen is not another drug that I can give her that would cause more side effects. So um, she's tried out the oxygen and what's the prognosis on that? She, okay, so she says it's helping. Um, but I don't think she has it down quite enough yet where it's actually eliminating her headaches. So that's the point we want to get to. And I also had wondered if maybe these, um, this bad mood cycle she goes into has anything to do with headaches. Because the headaches are so timely, they come at 10 o'clock every night, and her, what we call bad mood cycles, come at midnight and last for four days and then after four days at midnight again they go away and then they stay away for five days so since that's also very timely I thought they might be related but um, I asked her to try the oxygen while she was just in her bad cycle um, yeah she didn't do that she forgot so it's um, she does not have a good memory at all during her bad cycle and I can't really talk to her about things when she's in her bad cycle. She really, um, she really can't deal with anything. So she forgot to try it, and, and I couldn't talk to her about it. So, um, so we'll try that again later. But I really am hoping it could mean something for that because um, that's that's a really crippling thing for her right now, and it's a really horrifying thing to go through that. She's has a lot of hallucinations and really bad things happen during those four days. So it's very tough. Um, one thing she has found that helps her during those four days is um, CBD oil, which is cannabis oil, which is not marijuana. It, um, it doesn't have THC in it. So it's actually legal in all 50 states. Um, we purchase it as a bottle of oil and she takes drops of it and holds them under her tongue. And that's something that really does help her during those four days. Um, it really, she says it helps make her feel more present. Um, she basically um, is disassociated with things when she's in that cycle. She doesn't understand what's going on, where she is, um, what's happening. Um, and so when she takes that oil, it kind of brings her back and makes her feel more present as to where she actually is. Um, so that's been a big help. And I believe that the longer she takes it, the more she is to respond, the more likely she is to really respond to it. Do you think so? How, how long have you been taking it? I would, okay, I would say maybe even longer than that. I would shoot for like maybe even five months. She's been taking it. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, it didn't do much at all in the beginning, but I think it's starting more now to really help her. Um, and, uh, that's about it. Is there anything else you wanted to talk about? Okay. Oh, a little bit. Well, yeah, I mentioned that she's, she's, um, we asked for the oxygen for the headache. Right, so um, so she is using that, and um, and she uses it in a way that 
a very different way. Not not many people would use oxygen in this way. She has a um, a special mask um, that she uses. It's a non-rebreather mask, but it's a mask like made I think specifically for cluster headaches, and um, and she just uses it for about 15 minutes right when she gets the headache, and she puts it on her face and she tries to. Oh man, she hurts herself so much when she goes through this. Um, she basically tries to hyperventilate. And I think the object is to get as much um, carbon dioxide out of her system um, as she can. And um, so I think she feels like she's getting better. Yeah, so she's getting better at doing it. It's something that you kind of have to get used to and, and really make work for you. So, um, so, yep, that's about the latest year. Anyway, thank you so much. Please, uh, if you have any questions or comments, let us know. Bye.